guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com, and this is a look at the settings on the HTC Desire. Android is a great operating system for people that like to tweak and change and customize, and the Desire is no exception. So let's take a look at all the things that you can change through the settings menu. So I'm going to unlock the screen. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Okay, let's go right into settings. We get these nice colored icons, uh, which is new to the newer versions of Android. So let's go right into personalize. And from here, we can change the scenes for the HTC uh, Sense home screens with the different layout configurations. Then we can go to home wallpaper, and we get a variety of really fantastic HTC wallpapers. And I know the camera's having trouble focusing. There we go. And these, these all look very, very good uh, with the AMOLED screen. The colors are super vivid, and the blacks are very black, very good contrast. So they give you a really fantastic selection. And you also get the live wallpapers which we saw for the first time on the Google Nexus One. So Galaxy, Grass, Magic Smoke, these all come from the Nexus One, which also had Android 2.1, but we get two new ones. We get HTC Sense, which is kind of this morphing of colors that you just saw. And also, this one's pretty cool, Maps, Maps Live Wallpaper. So it'll show you actually a satellite view or a map view of your current location. I assume that this uses a lot of battery, so you probably don't want to use this on a regular basis, but it's pretty cool. So what I have enabled right now is the Sense wallpaper. You can see these kind of colorful bubbles moving in the background. I think it's a nice touch. Let's go back in, wireless and networks. So from here we can change our, our Wi-Fi settings, turn on Bluetooth, manage the VPN, kind of boring stuff there. Call is also pretty boring. We can manage voicemail, call barring and forwarding. Then if we go in sound and display, we see some more interesting things. We can change the sound profile. We can change the media volume, the ringer volume, the phone ringtone, so we can, you know, move around there, have some fun. Okay, um, notification sound. We can have the phone vibrate for incoming calls. We have a cool feature here called Quiet Ring on Pickup. This is actually on the HTC HD2. Um, so if the phone's ringing and you pick up your phone, it will reduce the volume uh, when you do that because basically you don't need the phone to keep ringing as loudly as it is if you are already if you already know that the phone is ringing so we can scroll down audible touch tones haptic feedback uh, SD card notifications we can tell the device if we want it to change orientation in certain screens with the accelerometer uh, let's look at brightness now with an AMOLED screen, you don't really need the backlight in indoor situations. So if we slide it all the way down, you can see that you can still see things on the screen. If you did this with a traditional LCD display, that would not be the case. Or you can maximize it if it's really, really bright outside and you need the, the help of the backlight. I leave it on automatic. You can also determine screen animations. So right now I have it set on some, anima some animations. Obviously the more animations you have, the, the bigger the toll on battery life. G sensor calibration. You can also determine when the LED flashes. There's a green LED that flashes when you have a new call or a, a missed SMS or something like that and things like that. And you can check off which ones you want them to go on for. Very handy. Okay, let's go back. Accounts in sync. This is where you go to determine all the sync options. So right now I've got five different things or six synchronizing. Exchange Active Sync, Facebook, and so on and so forth. And from here you can determine when these things sync and how often, which is good to have in one screen. Location, you can check off if you want it to use GPS satellites or just use the wireless networks. Obviously, if you use GPS satellites, you'll get a little bit more precise in a map application, but it will use a lot more battery life than the latter. Uh, going down, we have search. So we can change some settings in the Google search. Search history and web suggestions. Uh, going down some more. We have some privacy options. Use my location is checked off. This is cool. Uh, automatically, the Desire and the Legend actually back up your data to the SD card. So if I were to factory reset this device, when I turn it on, it'll ask me, do you want to restore all of your information uh, from the micro SD card? It will restore all of my settings so I don't have to enter my Wi-Fi passwords again, um, any sort of uh, HTC Sense widget configurations. Very handy feature. Okay, go to applications. We can manage applications, kind of common for, for most Android devices. SD and phone storage, so we can see how much space we have available. It comes with a four gigabyte micro SD card, which is quite handy. Date and time, you can change the format. Language and keyboard, you can change the language uh, to five different languages, or technically four. 
touch input settings so you can determine if you get the haptic feedback you can do a tutorial add to the user dictionary so it knows names and things like that accessibility I'm not going to go into that text-to-speech is in application you have to download and only certain other applications can take advantage of this like navigation programs it'll take text and turn it into speech you can hear a sample this is an example of speech synthesis in English so not too bad it sounds like a robot but what do you expect and finally at the bottom we have about phone from here you can you know see your network status see what is using the battery which I love to see this is a really fantastic addition to Android so I know that Wi-Fi is using a lot of my battery life and so is just the cell standby meaning it being on I don't know why they include that and from here you can tap on these to action on certain things you can turn on Wi-Fi turn it off um, phone idle display it'll take you to the the brightness settings and you get the point so that was a look at the settings on the HTC Desire. There's a lot you can change about this phone. They really give you a lot of customizability, which is great. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, and that's it for now.